and student of SFAK Tumas Mulia. I'd like to tell you the story of the donkey and the frogs. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived an old man with a donkey. Once morning, the old man asked the donkey to bring some wood. <coughs> My donkey, no wood takes some wood. Be careful, say the old man. Then, the donkey went immediately to take the wood. On the way, the donkey beneath the wood. But, hi, Denki, where are you going to take this wood? asked the good. Hi, good, I want to bring this wood to the market. Denki replied. But, the wood seems so happy for you today. I'm used to carrying this wood, said the Denki while continuing the journey. But, okay. Careful, Danky, as to say the good, crossing the conversation. On the next day, the Danky found a river, but the Danky couldn't pass it. The wife was crossing a bridge. The Danky was careful as to pass through the river, but suddenly the bridge was broken up, so he fell into the river. Please, please help me! I can get out from here! The donkey shouted. At the same time, there were some frogs swimming in the river. Ribbit, ah, you are totally refreshed, said the frogs. Recognizing the frogs, the donkey asked them for help. Hey, help me! I can get out of this river! Hey! You Denki, you just like suffering a huge misery by getting inside the zipper. Look at me, I spent all of my life in the river, but I never get suffering, something, and crying what you did. Come on, show me, you are stronger and bigger than me. Aren't you? I've been trying to get up, but I didn't work. Who can Denki? Your body is big and strong, so do it yourself. I don't want to help you. The donkey was angry and shouted. Yes, I am a strong animal. Just look my pile. I can carry a lot of wood. And you? You just small animal and me? Can you carry can you carry those that I did? Of course not. In the meantime, Mustard was seeing the donkey and the frogs. Hearing the conversation. Then the monster greeted them. Hi, friends. Hi, dear. The monster said, I can hear what are you talking about, friends. How could you be in the river, Danki? Then the Danki told to the monster what has happened to him. When I was crossing the river, Suddenly the bridge was broken down, so I fell into the river. I asked frogs to help me, but they even mocked me. Finally, the frogs apologized to the Danki and said, We just try to motivate Danki, as our body are just little. So, what can we do for a, such a big animal like you? The most smiled and said, I see you, my friends. Although we, although we like different habitat like you, frogs who live in water and a donkey and me who live in land. It is better for us to help stay at other. Do you agree with me? Ribbit, okay, agree with you. Well, donkey, I will help you. We will lift the woods one by one from your shoulder. So, so then you can come up from the river. Thank you so much for your help, friends. You're welcome. Save the frogs and the most